A greeting, Scorpio, and welcome to English Insights. I hope you're doing well, and thank you all for joining um, this reading. And for those who've subscribed, I really appreciate that. And thank you to my new friends and viewers, and welcome to. And this is what I have for you, a Scorpio a reality check. You could be um, seeing... Um, Unicorn, something magic, uh, mysterious could be happening around you. Um, or something that you're being told could be like, really? Um, are you seeing unicorns? But this is saying um, to trust those intuitions, those butterflies, those um, almost like childhood uh, fantasies uh, that um, are saying, is this real? Uh, pinch yourself, wake up. <laughs> Because you're having an assessment, you're exploring, you're uh, looking at things honestly, and you're de using determination to uh, go toward uh, whatever this magic is. And uh, you're going toward that because everything's okay. So your reality check might be, what's happening? But it's saying you're getting news and confirmation in the mail. It could be on uh, the number 444 could be important, or you could be seeing that around. But uh, a big change is on the way. And that's what the reality check, maybe this unicorn is bringing that in for you to observe and look at. And so let's um, jump right in and see what this reality check is about. And you are uh, okay and everything around you is okay. And you're going to get a confirmation about that. And so it is. And you're um, changing radically from one world to another. And you're being able to take all of this cosmic energy from the waters and transmute it like an alchemy and take those different parts of yourself and transform them into something that's uh, really different. You won't even maybe recognize yourself after this process, Scorpio, because uh, there is love being offered, a new love offer coming in. And you see how this night um, is standing in somewhat of an environment like the desert. But if they plant this seed of love in the water, they will grow it. And that's just to say that with this offering, that is a challenge to your change, this a love offering. But the love offering is moving into the future. You see he's going this way. And there's momentum in love and um, something you really uh, have a lot of feeling about. And this is challenging your changing, your adaptation, your um, healing, your alchemizing yourself so you can become something really uh, very new, very different. And uh, that is going to another night. Uh, well, that shows there's a lot of momentum. And this night is um, in the standing in this fertile ground with this opportunity to plant his seeds in this field. And to grow them. And this knight is saying that, and they're both facing to the future energetically. So as you alchemize these parts of yourself, Scorpio, that are um, maybe parts you don't like, with the parts you do, and that you will blend and come up with something totally different. And you will be moving toward a love offer. And that's the challenge to this change. But also, uh, there is at the foundation this night here to be loyal, to work with you on this project, uh, to uh, do it step by step. It could be very slow. The foundation is of this love coming in is going to be slow, but steady. And there's another night. Wow. The night of swords and this night is going back to the past so there could be something you're thinking about the past something that was communicated recently that came in quick about the past information um, that you are maybe having to hear and it could be difficult because you have these three nights around your temperance around this healing around this change of becoming something really new, transforming yourself. But what is at the crown is some sense of being um, isolated, being um, <clears throat> cut off, being imprisoned, uh, 
being imprisoned in your own mind, trapped by your own thoughts about uh, these uh, nights. Um, this energy, both in the realm of love and of thinking and um, action, and also of just your resources. Maybe you're growing your resource at the foundation, but it's very slow. And you're quickly having energy that keeps looking back to the past, and that could be what holds you uh, in prison. This interference, something is interfering with you from your past that came in very quick with a lot of mental energy. And what's happening right now is the Wheel of Fortune is coming a Scorpio because you're changing. Uh, this whole movement is taking you into the future and it's changing because you're moving toward this love offer, a new opportunity in love, a new opportunity to love something very important and it's coming fast. And what it is that you're hoping uh, to uh, change into is this empress. This, trans, um, uh, this transformation where you're healing and becoming something totally new and different is because you want to uh, be creative, be beautiful, be productive, be able to give and receive love, and that's how you uh, see yourself. But something is changing quickly because your environment is the magician. Wow. Well, how you see your influence of your environment is that... Uh, they're making magic for you. Uh, they're helping you to, um, by uh, really working at something hard and bringing things down and really asking for guidance from the higher power. Uh, you see the figure eight, um, and he's reaching up toward the heavens. And this a wheel of fortune, this luck, is coming through your environment, through someone who's very um, magical very powerful, very creative. And um, your hope and fear is that you will uh, take leadership of this passion project. This is the first uh, fire that we see here. So you're going confidently and taking leadership, Scorpio, uh, toward this new passion, toward this entrepreneurial uh, energy that you're trusting, um, that everything is going to be okay because this a king will lead you toward a big change. And uh, the king is looking to um, that wand of passion, confidence. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to work on this slow and steady, step by step. Maybe you have been um, working on this for maybe eight years, but you're going to keep working and bring this to fruition, whatever it is, this, this empress, um, this fertility and creativity and growth and abundance. And with this magician, you've got this uh, power to manifest whatever you would like in your environment. Uh, and you got this passion leadership to take command with that wand and go toward this creative project you're working on and you're going to be a very good craftsperson recognized for this skill and uh, you've got two eights at the um, because that's showing that uh, okay in the eight of swords you're tangled up and feeling interfered with but this eight is saying no I'm going to work hard on whatever this uh, opportunity is, this coming, this change, what I'm uh, wanting to plant, and I'm going to go forward with it step by step. And so let's get some clarity on why is this temperance card uh, here for you, Scorpio? Uh, because summer you're going to bask in joy and light. Well, this temperance, this change you're going through is going to uh, bring you a lot of joy and light in the summertime. And this offering of love is coming because you are going to um, have this high priest, this spiritual energy coming to intend and create love, a new love, a new passion project. And you're growing something at the foundation because um, the moon, you're going to follow those cycles of the moon and look how full that moon is. Take note of intuitive messages about what it is you're planting at the foundation. Because something's 
came in quickly, a communication uh, recently, and, and you're just going to take that energy and go for it because you have, you're trusting your instincts. In the past, you trusted your instincts and went towards something very quickly, and then you are going to track down your uh, fears and desires, and that will help release this feeling of being um, isolated, in prison, stuck, uh, caught up in self-sabotaging beliefs because the wheel wants to change and bring you um, new opportunity because you're shedding your old skin. Yeah, you're, to have this new opportunity, you have to let go of that old self, whatever that is to you, a Scorpio, because you're becoming the empress. That could be this a mothering energy, this nurturing energy. That, that's how you're seeing yourself, and that's what you're changing into, uh, this great mother. Um, whether you're a man or a woman, and you're being able to harness your mystical powers, and use those uh, creative powers to uh, manifest abundance all around you. And the magician is here because uh, someone in your environment is showing you the light, is being the light, is helping you see the magic all around you, that's coming to you from your environment and the people who are responding to you, who are involved with you and influencing you. And you're going to take your charismatic energy, uh, your entrepreneurial spirit, and uh, hold the space. That's your hope and fear, is you can hold that space, sit there in passion, and go for what you really desire. Um, and the <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles is because a harmonious resolution is possible about what it is you're working on, you're crafting, you're creating. And that is what I have for my Scorpios. And a very powerful reading for you. And you are also maybe noticing the um, sequence of 444. And that's showing you're finding stability, balance. And you are going to get reassurance, support, a guidance. And you're going to see that this, whatever your work is, you're doing is being overseen by a very blessed power. Because you're going to be careful about disbelief, feeling alone, feeling like your prayers are unanswered, or feeling frustrated. Because you're going to move away from that because a reality check is coming. And you are going to uh, be careful about feeling indifferent, inactive, misguided, and unmotivated. Because you're having a reality check. Assessment, exploration, honesty, and determination are, are needed at this time from my Scorpio. And that's what I have for you. And you know, I love you. And if we're in this interconnected field, Scorpio, a growing and learning uh, to have this re reality check and to really go toward working slow and steady and crafting this new uh, work we're going toward. And everything's okay. And so it is. Bye-bye.